what's up, ladies and gents? What's up, what's up? It's leg day. And it's your boy, V-Gains. All right. On the way to the gym, there's nobody on the road, so we out. But it's leg day, and we're lower body day. And just going to be, it's gonna be a quick one because today's Sunday and I go to work early. So, won't be at the gym. Probably like a quick, well, including cardio. You're gonna be like two hours quick? Yeah, two hours is a fast workout for me when it includes cardio. And I still gotta get in my 30 to 45 minute session. I don't have my hour sessions on the weekends. That's two hour sessions during the week. And, um, well, two one hour cardio sessions. It kind of sounded like I said two hour sessions cardio no um so probably going to be venturing back to high bar squats that's what i did in my last leg leg workout didn't record it i used 225 just recorded sets getting back in the groove also my depth is cake on a, on high bar and when i lost weight when i lose weight i can hit depth easily when i'm bulk depth's hardest and my leverage has changed uh my bench is better but my squat it's stronger, but my depth is always questionable because I'm fucking fat. So, <laughs> but now the boys jack, stack, damn near succulent. <laughs> but yeah, it's like that. And uh, finish this. Take care of business. See you at the gym. All right, time to do some talking. As you can see from the caption, I fluffed up the weight. I was supposed to use 345 pounds, but my dumb ass only loaded 335. So this is my first set of seven, 335 pounds, supposed to be four sets of seven. So I didn't do technically four sets of seven with 345. I did three sets of seven because that first set was 335. But I was like, after my fourth set, I was gonna do another set. It's a lot of sets, but I was gonna do another set. Technically it would be five sets. But I was gassed. So I did one set of seven with 335 and then three sets of seven with 345. RDLs, my favorite exercise. As you can see from all those shorts I put up from a few weeks ago, actually a few months ago. And yeah, I didn't actually high bar squat. I was pissed because there's those girls you see in the background, they, they were hogging the rack and I had to do squats on the machine. Not the Smith machine, but like the super squat machine, the half squat machine. Didn't record that. I did eight plates for three sets of eight. So this is my fourth and final set. This is the end of the, the training portion. But I have an actual story for you guys. Story time in honor of the day. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace. All right, ladies and gents, that's the end of the workout. I am back in the car, obviously. Heading back to the crib. Gotta take a shower and go to work. But today is September 11th. So I figured I'd give you guys a, like a remembrance to September 11th. So basically, I'll tell you about my story with it. Cause I know a lot of you guys are probably young. Some of you guys haven't even weren't even born during that terrible fucking day for a lot of Americans lost many lives so basically I was in fifth grade at the time I'm 31 right now and it was September 11 2001 I had just turned 10 years old so I was in fifth grade and I was actually in school so initially the way I heard it because like that was kind of when younger kids were just starting to get cell phones, like the rich ass kids. <laughs> I didn't have a cell phone at 10 years old, it's in 2001. But anyway, I digress. Uh, one of the kids got a call, this was during recess. But one of the kids, one of my buddies actually, got a call and we were actually, we were playing football. Well, it was a game called Kill the Carrier. Um, 
some people call it like kill the queer or steer the queer, something like that. Basically, it's kind of like football, where you every man for themselves. There's two goals, and and obviously we're playing on a playground, so you can't play tackle, but. It's two hand touch, where they touch with two hands and you're and you're technically down. And you throw the ball up, someone catches it, and now you have to run to the goal. It's mad fun, yo. Uh, it's been one of the best games of all time. But anyways, I digress again. We're playing kill the carrier. And one of the kids, I guess, gets a phone call from his parents or something. I don't even know who called him. And basically told him what happened and that, that, and that they were coming to get him right at that very moment. So he starts bugging and goes, literally starts saying, we're all being bombed. There's planes bombing everybody. So that's what I honestly, everyone, all the kids thought. And we all started screaming and go, going like crazy. Don't smile, but it was a bad day. And but I'm just saying that like we were such little kids, like innocent kids that we didn't know what was really going on. So... I did. I, I once I figured out this was serious was when kids just started leaving. Like I was in class. We we're all in class, and like we we're doing reading or math or some shit. And all the kids, like every ten minutes, one by one, there'd be a kid leave. A kid, would, a kid's parents would come pick him up. So one kid would drop out. The other kid would leave until it was just like me and a couple other kids. My mom was still working, and um, and my mom was just like, "You'll stay in your ass in school, boy." <laughs> so she, I left class or left school at the normal time. They didn't cancel it. School was canceled the next day, I think. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't even know. But um, I know my football practice was canceled. I played pop Warner football for like, like 10 and 11 year olds. But kids were leaving and shit, and I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I knew something, that's when I knew something, like, really bad happened. And I get home, uh, I, I used to walk home from school, so we walk home from school, and I never, I'll never forget that walk home. It was, like, very eerie. Like, everybody was, like, looking up in the air and shit. Like, it was scary, yo. I was actually, I was fucking crying, because I was fucking nervous. Like, it's, I thought the world was ending, basically. Cause that's all I knew was what that kid said, <laughs> and that's what I thought. So everyone's looking up, and um, we're all walking home. And I find by the time I get home, my sister was in high school at the time. She was a senior, and so she was already there, and she had uh, the news on. And so I'm sitting down, and she's sitting down as well. And I just see the news, and we see the World Trade Center basically. By that time, the towers have already fell, cause it was like 2 p.m. or no, not 2 p.m like almost three o'clock and um so now you just see the after effects and like we had the like the new i don't ever forget that every new every channel had this on it was like a national broadcast type thing every channel nickelodeon uh cartoon network every channel had that on basically and i was like yo this is like scary to the point where i didn't even want to look at the tv because and like my sister was telling me like she was kind of scaring the shit out of me saying don't go outside no one knew what was going on like that's how it was like it was fucking that day was just crazy yo and then they always said that's gonna be a day where that you will never forget and i literally will never forget that day then uh i was 10 it was 21 years ago yo i'm 31 now and i still remember that day like it was yesterday and it, it's mind-boggling sometimes like when some people that like as you get older like obviously there's a new generation and these people or these kids weren't even born with it they don't even know that day like I work with some people that are young and um that were born in like 2002 2003 and it's just mind boggling I'm like yeah I wasn't even born during that day I was like wow but anyways comment let me know if what's your 9-11 uh, experience was mine was just crazy because I was a young kid didn't have had no idea what was going on but anyways that was a pretty good workout close out this video hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like rating really appreciate that and as always my friends as always 